Hi guys, it's Mel from NMC TV and welcome to another episode of Get Off Your Ass! Alright, now today I'm going to talk to you about why you should get off your ass. Uh, look, for me I've been doing some long hours sitting my ass down in a chair in front of a computer for days finishing off the amazing first edition of Intimacy TV's magazine. So my lower back was actually really tight and um, seems to be every single time I walk around this goddamn lake, it's as you can see in the background, shitty. If it rains on me, I really don't care today. But I want to talk to you about, apart from getting off your ass, uh, and why I'm doing this is to actually stretch out my back um, because I was starting to pinch right into my leg and my buttocks when I drove the car. And I'm like, no, I have been sitting on my ass for too long. So it's time to get off your ass. So super excited because today is the first edition of Intimacy TV's magazine. And um, I want to give you an idea of what it's all about, why we're doing this. So we've decided we're no longer going to be popping up stacks of blogs for you guys to read. And we're going to put it all in one place so you can download it. And when you've downloaded it, um, you can read it at your leisure throughout the month. So we normally will be covering, you know, at least four topics in every single month. Um, so it's not boring for you. And don't forget what we're here about. So here at Intimacy TV is all about raw conversation, real education. So what we're finding is that, you know, yes, we're all interested in learning some stuff, but you know what? We speak shit. People out there just don't talk about the tough topics. And oh my God, we've got some amazing stuff. Now, the reason why I want you guys to make sure that you get it and you subscribe is because we're putting it out there this month, but it's going to go out to our mailing list for further months. But I've got some fucking awesome interviews that we're going to be doing um, throughout the month. So this month, our expert, every month we're going to have an expert in there, um, or shall we say somebody that's authentic, congruent and authentic and is rocking their shit. So this month we've got the Joy Coach and that's Andrea Dick. So we're super excited um, to have been able to feature her and we will be doing, um, once we get our shit together, I will be doing a face to face with Andrea. So watch this space. Um, so this is the month of love and you know it's all about Valentine's Day and of course it's a bit of lust thrown in there because we've got the Fifty Shades of Grey coming out. No, I don't you not talk about that really. We talk about the Fifty Shades of Red Flags. So, so you can actually know what's going on. But of course it's a month of love and some of us are just like this. When we think about love, or oh, it's this, oh God, this really hurts. You know, um, all the word loneliness. So here's the deal. We're making sure that we're covering everything in the month of love. So are you single? How do you survive being single on Valentine's Day? Because quite frankly, it's fucking painful, but that's okay. We're here to help you guys. Or maybe you're in a relationship and you want to work out, you know, how to spice it up. How do I do an interesting and great gift? So we've got a fabulous article in there about different kinds of things that you can do on Valentine's Day. Because quite frankly, guys, whether you like it or not, women love this shit, all right? We just, it's vomit material, I know, but we do love it. It is Valentine's. And quite frankly, we don't care if you've been with us for 20 fucking years. Be nice on one day of the goddamn year, you know? And I know there's a lot of you, and I was married to one who said, I don't want to be told when to tell you I love you. Well, why don't you pick a fucking day and do it? And it doesn't have to be Valentine's, but you know what? Just put the effort in because all of us still want to be romanced at some point on some level. Men and women, all right? We are talking about, um, oh my God. Okay, so the gay Mardi Gras is coming up. I know he's walking and talking, it's hard work for me. I'm very unfit. Um, the gay Mardi Gras is coming up, so we have, or oh, I actually went in and I'm going to see if I can actually do a face-to-face -face interview to answer more questions. And this is why I want you guys to download the actual magazine and read it because throughout the month, we're gonna be doing some Facebook Lives and if I've got questions for the different people up front, then it makes it easier to answer them. So one of the articles I've got in there is about a drug called PrEP. And just like the contraception pill for women, this is a pill that is taken daily to prevent you from getting HIV. Now, did you know that exists? I bet you didn't. 
So, this is what it's all about. Giving you guys real facts of what's really going on. So we're gonna look at interviewing them. We're gonna cover how do you parent with your ex? Because quite frankly, that's not sometimes easy. So we wanna look at doing this in a really healthy manner for you and for your children. So we're gonna cover your ex, we're gonna cover being single, we're gonna cover love, we're gonna cover um, Valentine's Day, we're gonna cover the gay Mardi Gras, about coming out, about enjoying our sexuality, and we've also got one product of the month that I've put out there, and this little sucker rocks, baby. She gets to your little clit and she does a little sucking and vibration. And this is hands down, there's a lot of copies out on the market, but this one's the best. Why? Because it's bath time submergible. So, what I want you guys to do right now, I'm just gonna stop for a second, because I'm walking, oh my God. Celebration. So, forget off your ass this episode. We wanna do what's called the 30 second dance so for 30 seconds I'm gonna make sure I can actually see it we want you to do a little dance I don't care if you're in your chair at your office in the train on a tram ready we're gonna do the jig time starts now Woo! and we do the dance all right get the whole body moving I want it all moving that's it that's what it's all about, is do the happy dance. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to move much. We just want you to move for a whole 30 seconds. That's it, oh, 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 da, da, da. I know, people around me are gonna think I'm crazy, but this is called the 30 second dance, and I want you to dance with me, guys, because this is what it's all about. How are we going here? Oh, and the 30 seconds are way over. Did you do it? If not, rewind, go back, and I want you to do a 30 second dance. Because that is what getting off your ass is all about. You're moving? Yes! Go, girl! All right. So, when you have a little win, so you've worked your ass off on something, or maybe you haven't, but something is there and it's a little win. This is my tip for the day. Do your little 30 second happy dance. We used to do the check dance when something went great, you got this money check. Like, yeah, and you pretend you're holding the check. If you keep celebrating your little wins, things get much easier. What we do is we strive for a massive goal, guys. And you need to do, well, you need to celebrate all the little things because it makes it easier to get to the big things. If we're sitting there and we've got this goal, this massive goal that's like way over there, all right, then you're like, it becomes too hard because it's got so many steps. So break it everything down into little steps and every single time you have a win, I want you to celebrate in some way, shape or form. This is a lesson that I've had to learn because quite frankly, I'm a stubborn bitch and I'm always going for the big goals. And it's like, no, we need to celebrate the little goals and celebrate the whole way through. And this is a lesson that I've been trying to learn for the last year, is celebrate your little wins. And you do it by doing the 30 second jig. So, go out there, get off your ass, do your 30 second jig, so you get off your ass and do it. Or if you have to, do it in your chair because you're still moving your body. And keep posted because we're gonna be talking more about what we've got in the Intimacy TV magazine that's been released in the month of love. It's gonna cover something for everybody, guys, um, including those of you that are wounded by love. So download it, keep posted to make sure that you don't miss any of the specials or the special interviews that I'm gonna be doing this month because there's gonna be a lot more about the love. Bye for now.